And I am really confused by all the lockdowns in the in the country. What really uh, amazes me is that we, we can have riots from certain or in massive antagonistic protests of certain groups, and they do not get arrested for social distancing, uh, breaking social distancing rules. Yeah, everything's fine. They don't need to get permits and nothing. They can just go do whatever they want. But do you have any other type of rally, like an anti-lockdown rally or it, anything that doesn't conform with what the powers that be want you to do, you know, people get arrested and fined. And it, it seems strange that you can have a, some rallies, but churches still around the world and many parts of the world can't congregate. That seems a bit strange to me. It seems strange to me that we're working on uh, building our congregation in an era where we can't congregate. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those challenges I think people talk about, but we have to, like our last conversation, make an effort. Yeah, you can't. I'm serious. Well, yeah, without the effort, you can't do it. You can't have a following unless you have something to follow. <laughs> That's why we've gone internet. So you can see us in some of our early videos where we might be a little rusty or not used to the situation. We're making that effort to try to get out there. Yeah, I mean, we have so many. Uh, I believe that we have so many good, positive things to offer uh, a lot of people and what we do and how we do it. I just think it's a shame we can't open the doors and let everybody in. Uh, they say you can and can't, everything just is so, everything's so confusing. And then you got the lim the liability of things. If somebody got sick from whatever, whatever, whatever it is, then, then all of a sudden they go, uh, the hospital says they have something well, where'd they get it from? They say they got it from you. All of a sudden you get a lawsuit because, oh, you know, I didn't get a, they, they didn't make me sit six feet apart. There weren't dividers or there weren't masks. There weren't this or that. And it's, it's never ending. It's just a really, I think it's about to open up a massive litigious society even more than it already is. Because if a coroner says you died from you know, C-19, you are, that's what legally it says. So you are- yeah, Legally. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a sad state of affairs. I'm quite disappointed. And what does that do to the human consciousness and soul? I, I think the, I think the restrictions and the, the brainwashing that goes on with everything because you know, one day masks are good, one day they're not, one day this is good, one day this is not. You sh should have vitamin D or uh, various other vitamins and well, some say that nah, doesn't, not beneficial at all. Some say take it, some say this, that, vaccines are great, vaccines are horrible. I mean, you just never know anything. Like, how do you believe anything at all with anybody? Everybody has all these different biases from every different direction. Some people love Trump, some people hate Trump. You got Biden lovers, haters. Everybody's just, and everybody's telling a different narrative, a different perspective and stretching the truth till you don't even know what the truth is. And then what does that do to, to the mind? What does it do to the soul? What is like, it just seems like we're uh, just lost. Like Graham Hancock says, uh, we're, we're a civilization that has amnesia. Just complete amnesia of our past and who we are, why we're here. It's quite disturbing. <laughs>